So I'm not going to be slow and tardy. I'm going to be very quick with this one. So tardy ulnar nerve palsy, yesterday a lot of people asked us questions and there is confusion. I'm just going to clarify it. There are two types of tardy ulnar nerve palsy. One which comes before the deformity begins, serious deformity begins. And I was discussing with Hitesh and he told me at one year non-union, you had a tardy ulnar nerve palsy. And this is something to do with either entrapment of the nerve with a tissue or with instability or rubbing of the nerve and you have tardy ulnar nerve palsy without deformity and this can be simply treated by anterior transfusion of ulnar nerve. The second is where you have deformity and tardy ulnar nerve palsy. This comes much later, after 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. This patient presented to us at 42 years of age and here only ulnar nerve transposition will not work because that's not the only problem. Here we have to do an osteotomy to correct the deformity and at the same time you can do an ulnar nerve transposition to take care of the ulnar nerve palsy. So this is a 42 year old lady had a lateral condyle fracture at six year age, carried on and on and now she presented not because there were any symptoms at the elbow because, but because there were symptoms at the hand in form of tingling numbness and clawing. And this patient, uh, uh, we had to take care of instability, we had to take care of the deformity, and take care of the tardial nano palsy. And uh, the, the, the way it was planned was we did an osteotomy perpendicular to the humeral shaft, did an angulation translation correction. So you put the lateral spike inside the medullary cavity of the proximal fragment, and then this was plated. At this, we did try to fix the fragment, but as soon as I fixed the fragment temporarily with a K wire, there was loss of elbow motion, which means in this long standing case, most of the movements were occurring at non union, so we refrained from doing osteosynthesis of the non union in this case, and this patient ultimately did well. So, uh, this is all about lateral condyle fractures.